Roman. I hope you're having a good start to your Sunday. It's bright and early here. We're in Pennsylvania. We're across the border in Tri-County, Toyota, Royersford, Pennsylvania. Let me get the camera set up for you here. We're checking out Tundras. And uh, they got a nice amount here. Now, we were here about, let's say, two months ago. Maybe a little more than two months. End of January, early February. And if you remember, they had a ton of tundras here. And now it looks like they've sold through about half of their inventory. So at least they're selling. And today we're going to walk and talk about JP. How you doing? Talk about what they have. Talk a little bit about trends and what we're seeing and what's here. There are some good ones in here for sure. And there's one I'm not going to show you today. I'm going to save for tomorrow, and it's super cool. But uh, that'll be my main event tomorrow. John, how you doing, buddy? Other John, how you doing? Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. Bright and early. Thanks for waking up. I woke up at 4 something in the morning and drove here, which was about a two-hour drive for me. No big deal. I enjoy looking at Tundras, and I enjoy looking at Tundras with you guys. So today you'll see some good ones. And so just before we even get started, this is the lineup they have today. If you remember last time we were here, again, two months ago, if you're just signing on, there was about 40 Tundras. It looks like today there's about rough guess, maybe 17. So in two months, they've sold through quite a bit of their inventory. There's a lot of iForce Max here. There's some really nice SR5s. I want to show you a cool Platinum in the middle of this. So without further ado... Let's take a little walk and I'll briefly go over each truck. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the longer video, more details. Now, in the, in the uh, title of this video, I did say with discounts. As per their website, every single one of these Tundras they have on the lot have a $3,000 discount off of MSRP. There is no addendum stickers on any of this. Tom, how you doing? I hope Underground shows up next year because that's a great color. So here you have a nice SR5 with the TRD wheel and tire package that is supposed to be on it. A lot of dealerships order it with that 20 inch wheel and tire package from the higher trim TRDs. So that's a nice one right there. And this one's loaded up. This is like the one I drive. It has the 14 screen on it, soft tech heated seats, uh, advanced off-road technology package, 360 camera, the whole nine. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Next door, we have a nightshade, which, you know what? Do you remember when 2024 started to hit the lot and all we saw were nightshades? And that's kind of carried through the months after Christmas and whatnot. Now I'm seeing maybe like one on a lot. And this is the one that they have here. Magnetic gray. Looks good. $450 add-on package to limited. Tacomas are flying. I guess it depends on where you are because they're not really flying around me yet. You'll see one sit on the lot for maybe about you know, two weeks and then it's gone. I think the one we filmed the other day at Gateway Toyota is still there. I'm not sure. Last I drove by. The new 2025 Forerunners might have the turbo V6. I think the new Forerunners are going to have the four-cylinder. I don't think they're going to have the V6. But uh, we'll see. That comes out April 9th. Is that tomorrow? Tomorrow's the Forerunner launch? Tomorrow or Tuesday. Whatever the 9th is. I never know what day it is. 1794 Lunar. And I say this in my videos a lot. I don't think I say it in the live stream because I'd like to hear what you guys think. If Toyota continues their trends that they do with TRD Pro Colors, 2024 could be the last year of um, Lunar, which would be very sad to me. I love Lunar a lot. So let me know what you think about that. I have yet to see this setup color and everything. This is a 1794 with the TRD off-road package. I know it's out there. There's one here and there. I want to see one. We have a lot of Platinums. You will see a lot of Platinums. Magnetic Ray, five and a half foot bed. Nothing to say much about the Platinum as far as like what's on it and what's not because pretty much comes as is. I mean, you can add the power bed step, power side step. You can add the AVS and load leveling rear height suspension. But overall, um, yeah, I don't know. Great truck. All right. To me, iForce Max is the way to go. I feel that engine will benefit of that electric push and probably last a little longer. The power and torque is insane. I don't disagree with you, sir. I don't disagree with you at all. Uh, SR5, this is the six and a half foot bed. So we just saw that SR5 down there, right? Nice one, five and a half foot bed. This one's the six and a half foot bed and it is loaded just as, just as good. It has the 14 screen, 
the heated soft tech seats. I mean, this is, I like SR5 so much. And I want to tell you guys now, since you're on here with me, by the way, good morning. If you're just signing on, hit that like button, hit subscribe. I want to talk Tundras with you forever, not just today. But one thing I want to let you know, I just crossed a year with my SR5. Um, it's going to probably, hey Dan, it's going to probably be Wednesday will be the year update video. I have some things to tell you. So to me, you buy the 2024 4Runner and learn to service it, it will last a million miles. The four liter V6 will last forever. And you're going to see people go to the lots as of the true release on the 9th. It's going to be very hard to get a forerunner and very hard to get a forerunner under MSRP. I guarantee you. Uh, platinum here, Celestial Silver, looking pretty good. I love Celestial Silver on Platinum. You guys have to agree. Forget about the price for a minute. The dark chrome and the silver work together. Oh, so good. Be on my team with that one, right? Can't go wrong. Dark chrome looks great. Same one next door. This one has side steps though, right? And then we have another. They have a lot of these, but this is the one I wanted to show you because you don't see these a lot. This is the Platinum, but this has the six and a half foot bed on it. Now this has the load leveling rear height suspension, the AVS. Um, this has the power bed step, the power side steps on it. Beautiful. So this is like perfect for if you want a Tundra that's going to do the job but still have some comfort for the family. You want that luxury. You're going to tow a lot. You got the load leveling rear height suspension. Don't forget Patrick, uh, one of the viewers, did a video. If you didn't see that, make sure you go check it out. He tows with his Platinum. He has a regular iForce Platinum. Uh, up to 8,000 pounds pretty much every day of the week. He has his own business. So he uh, put 60,000 miles on his 2022 towing. He has nothing but good things to say about it. So go check that video out. I thought that was a very important video to make for you guys because the big talk is, will these Tundras be reliable? So anytime we start to see a Tundra get up in mileage like 60,000 when it's been towing six days a week, that's something to talk about, you know, because we're still early and we're not seeing, you know, huge mileage on these things yet. Still kind of early in the generation, but you will start seeing it. We have a lot. You're going to see a lot of blueprint coming up. We got a blueprint 1794 looking nice. I love blueprint. This has the cream interior. I'm going to show you this real quick because you guys never see the cream interior, at least from my videos, because the dealerships up here don't normally get it. Usually it's saddle brown. That's your choice with 1794. Pretty snazzy, eh? Next door, we have the regular SR5. Next door, we have capstone and blueprint. This is $83,000 on the sticker. I think from the factory Toyota should knock the price down into the 70s on this right off the bat. Not waiting for dealers to give discount, but just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see a lot of these move. There's that one we saw at Liberty Toyota a couple weeks ago, last week, whenever we were there. And it's a 2023. and It's been on the lot since almost a year, I would say. All the times I go to Liberty, I see that. We got the Platinum Blueprint. I wanted to show you this, and I'll do this on the live stream. Don't forget the first oil change should be at 200 miles. The second oil change should be at 1,000 miles. Uh, they should take off 1,000 for every piece of chrome on the truck. Hey, if you don't like chrome, you're going to like what I have to say here. Check this out. So we have, this is a blessing. We don't usually get this kind of setup. Down there, you have the capstone. NFL, how you doing? Next door, you have the platinum, and then you have the 1794, okay? When we talk about dark chrome versus chrome, chrome, dark chrome, the 1794 and Platinum are set up the same way. Sister trims, I always say, right? Look at them. The only difference is this is the Western theme, saddle brown or cream interior, a lot of chrome. This is the black interior with the dark chrome body color all around it, all right? Same features, JBL, Pano, heated ventilated memory, genuine leather, the way to go. So when you're talking ultimate luxury, you're getting a look at all of the different options here. When I tell you, hey, that's a dark chrome, but I don't have the regular chrome next to it, you can't really see the difference. See, when you look at dark chrome and regular chrome, how different they look? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Carrie, what's going on, pal? Good to see you. And this one down here, 22-inch wheels on the capstone, a unique grille, body color surround, and all of the features I talked about down here are in this one. The difference is this has the semi-aniline leather, black and white, this has the power bed step, power side step standard, um, but this is its own trim. This is the flagship trim of Tundra, they say. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't agree with that, 
I think the flagship trim of Tundra is 1794. Why? Because the name 1794. It's called the 1794 because where TMMTX, the factory that built the Tundras sit, the ranch was founded in 1794. So it used to be a ranch and now the factory is there and they named it 1794. And I think that's awesome. Throws a little heritage back to San Antonio, the men and women that build these great trucks at TMMTX. So I think that is the winner. I have the 1794 i4 Max with the off-road package in magnetic gray. And thank God for that gray out grill. Ah, it went away. Uh, the chrome. Yeah, it's overwhelming. You're right. I like the uh, TRD grills for sure. Don't get one with chrome. Problem solved. Absolutely. Here we have an SR5. Not bad. Regular. Nothing going on here. Fabric seats. 8-inch screen. Nothing crazy. We have another 1794 in blueprint. Then we have a couple limiteds, which I feel like don't get enough love. We always talk about the limited TRDs, right? JP says, guys, hit the thumbs up. I agree with JP. It's a fun little walk today. I had the perfect amount of coffee, and I have a head cold. So you should have heard me driving up here, man. I haven't been able to sleep or nothing. So I'm getting a nice kick of all of the uh, caffeine right now. So this is very nice. But this is a regular limited. And it looks oh so good. And I want to show you this here. So this is a limited in celestial silver. So all that um, machine silver and chrome go together with it. Oh, so nice. This has the black soft text interior, not the boulder. Betty, thank you very much. Oh, anytime. Yeah, I mean, I'll make the videos even if I'm sick. It's just I hope you guys aren't hearing a nasally voice, you know. That's all I care about. But this one is a nice one here for sure. And let's end this thing right. We're going to take a walk to the front of the building. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite packages on Tundra. Highly underrated. We get to talk about it every once in a while, but we don't see as many as I would like. <sighs> Larry is saying what a lot of people think, for sure. There's a reason those Tundras are on the lap. What Larry doesn't know is two months ago I came here, just about almost to the day two months ago. And they've gone from... 40, 41 Tundras down to 19. So they definitely are selling some of them. Betty's keeping the 2020. I'd keep the 2022. Not 2022, model 2020. Here we are. SX, great package, $300 on a regular SR5. And all it does is body color and give you a blacked out wheel. Takes all the badging off except 4x4, four four, but you'll see no SR5, no Tundra. Only $300, and it's a low-level SR5. It gives it a nice premium look. That's it. Nothing crazy. Nothing too much. If you start adding interior stuff, this is just like Nightshade Unlimited. If you start adding interior stuff, it skyrockets the price. There you go. Nice one. SX. SX. I wanted to show Larry something cool because Larry's uh, little avatar picture there. Good morning, dude. Is a mushroom cloud. Hey, Larry, dude, check it out. Limerick, nuclear power station. I got you, pal. I pay attention. All right, but anyway, we're going to call this, yeah, we're going to call this uh, a live stream. I thank you guys for being here. And uh, love hearing all your opinions, man. Love hearing the opinions of absolutely everyone, regardless if you like the new gen or not all good because it's good to have those conversations especially for people that are in the market and trying to buy you got to let them know the deal so i thank you guys for watching very much check out the video tomorrow i didn't show you one tundra because i want to hear what you think tomorrow it was something pretty cool so i hope you'll uh, check it out tri county toyota royersford pennsylvania i got a two hour ride home but we're going to blast a little music have a good time and make sure you check out the video tomorrow today if you didn't check out that towing video from patrick the other day go check that out hit the like button, hit subscribe. Welcome aboard if you're new to the channel. I thank each and every one of you for being here. There's no former. Oh, there are four. Okay, all right, for Larry, real quick. Real quick, Larry. I'm gonna blow through these. It looks like there's five limiteds in an SR5. Let me see. Yeah, God, they must love blueprint here. Like people must buy a lot of the nautical blue if you're talking about this. There they are, buddy. Four liter V6. This engine will last absolutely forever. 
Um, and these things are going to sell like hotcakes. Yeah, forerunners, dude. They are never on the lot. Very rare to see forerunners. Honestly, this is the most forerunners I've seen on the lot in ages. You usually see one or two if you're lucky. But again, I thank you guys for being here. And the most important thing, God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. And God bless the troops and emergency services of the United States and Canada. Have a great day. Be safe.